Hi, welcome to Houston Zoo's Facebook Live. My name is Eddie, one of the senior reptile keepers here. Uh, today we're inside the Komodo dragon exhibit and we're gonna talk to you about Boga. <laughs> this is Boga, our 13 year old male Komodo dragon. He weighs a little over a hundred pounds. Um, he's involved in a SSP breeding program. So if you haven't seen him lately this last summer, he was actually up in San Antonio for a few months. Boga came back to us about a month ago and he is now in a, uh, one of the bear exhibits. This is kind of his uh, summer outdoor exhibit over here. He's not by the reptile house. Um, later on this week, he should be moved back over to the reptile building where you'll be able to see him but he might only be over there for a limited time. He might be moving back to San Antonio to try and breed with the female up there. Um, Boga is about a normal sized male Komodo dragon. They can get eight to 10 feet, weigh up to 250 pounds. Um, female dragons are a little bit, a little bit smaller. Boga's main diet here at the zoo consists of hard boiled eggs, rats, chicken, special events, he'll get uh, goat meat pieces. Um, while we're talking about him, feel free to ask any questions and we'll answer them as we go. So like I said, Bogo should only be in this exhibit for another day or two before he gets moved back over to the reptile and amphibian building where you should be able to see him. <clears throat> if the breeding is successful with uh, San Antonio's female, um, usually zoos work out something where we'll split the clutch of eggs with them. So we'll actually split babies with them. So it's possible that we could have baby Komodo dragons on exhibit if it did work out. <clears throat> Komodo dragons are from my uh, island chain in Indonesia. We got a question from Casey. How old and how big is he? Boga is 13 years old and he's right at six and a half feet and weighs a little over a hundred pounds. So Komodos inhabit five islands in Indonesia, the lesser Sunda Islands. Um, their prey over there consists of uh, buffalo, deer, birds, eggs, um, deer species, wild boar, <clears throat> kind of whatever they can get a hold of. Usually in the wild, it takes a bite from a Komodo dragon and uh, <clears throat> once the wound gets infected, they follow the animal around to, uh, to find it. Don is asking, is he fully grown? Boga is just about full grown. He'll probably get a little bit bigger than this. Um, like I said, males can get up eight, 10 feet. I think the largest one was recorded was 10 feet. So they, uh, they constantly grow throughout their life. <clears throat> David is asking, what is their lifespan? I want to say right around 20 years, 20 to 25 years. Um, of course, there are some older dragons out there in zoos. <clears throat> you can see that we're using the boards to kind of hold him back just so you all be able to see him so he doesn't go to the bottom of the exhibit. He's kind of hard to see. Come here, Boga. Come here. There is always a Komodo dragon on exhibit here at the zoo. Um, Phoenix is our other Komodo dragon. He's actually in the reptile building. He was another one that was born at San Antonio. Um, he's in a center area up there. So even if Boga does go back for the breeding program, we will still have a Komodo dragon on exhibit that you could see here. Turn him around. Come here. I'm gonna go this way. Go ahead and just sit down. 
Julia asks, are they friendly? I don't know if they're exactly friendly, but he tolerates us. Um, Boga's been raised by hand, so he's definitely not, he's not aggressive. Um, you can see me actually petting him and stuff. I wouldn't completely trust them, just like any other wild animal. <clears throat> he is kind of hard, hard to control though at times. We're just trying to keep him up here on top of the exhibit so you'll be able to get a good look at him. <clears throat> and it's probably his feeding day pretty soon. So once he moves back to the reptile building, um, we'll get him some food. He usually eats about once a week here at the zoo. Um, depending on what it is, rats, quail, chicken, eggs, um, special events, he does get the pieces of goat meat. For Feast with the Beast, we put a goat carcass in there for him, um, trying to get him to exercise his neck muscles like Komodo dragons in the wild, how they kind of rip and tear and pull, pull at their prey item. Komodos have about 60 teeth. They're kind of like shark teeth. They're recurved back on the inside of it. They're serrated. Um, this allows them to kind of grab onto their prey, rip back and forth, and uh, pull off big chunks of meat and then swallow it whole. You can also see that he's shedding right now also. So lizards almost constantly shed their skin. Um, there's always kind of pieces flaking off from him. And it's not like a snake where it comes off in one large piece. It kind of comes off in small chunks. Christina asks, what treats does he like? He really likes hard boiled eggs. Um, and towards the end of the video, we're going to have a few hard boiled eggs to give to him as a little treat for being good and kind of being still. But he will eat almost any type of meat item that we put down in front of him. As far as enrichment goes for him, um, we try and do things like hide his food inside of a plastic ball or inside boxes to make him kind of work for it or we'll hide his food around the exhibit to make him follow a scent trail to find it. Sarah is asking, does he prefer, prefer warm weather? Yes, um, like all other reptiles, he's cold blooded. Um, so he can't regulate his body temperature. So on a day like today, I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's starting to warm up. So in his exhibit, he'll find the sun spot and he'll go sit in there the rest of the day. Um, the cooler nights that we're having right now where it's getting into the 50s and 60s, we do bring him inside. Um, that's the reason for moving him back over to the reptile building. Um, his exhibit over there is a lot warmer. It's covered and has heat lamps in there for him. Um, he still does get moved in there, moved to the back area during the evening time. You can see his forked tongue coming out right there. He's just trying to smell the camera and who's on the other side of the board. That's his other favorite keeper, Chris, on the other side of the board. John is asking, where can we find them in the wild? Um, if you go over to Indonesia, there's a chain of islands, the Lesser Sunda Islands. I think it's five islands. Um, it's also where Komodo National Park is. Um, they can be seen over there. Um, I think access to those islands are really restricted. Um, you can't just go over there. You gotta be part of a research group to get over there to see them. There you go, good boy. Do I have any other questions coming in? So 
So there, it looks like he's finally calming down and sitting there. <coughs> so hopefully Boga will be successful in the breeding program that he's involved in. Uh, the SSP is between a few different kinds of zoos. Um, so we're lucky that San Antonio was a close zoo, so it's kind of easy to transport him up there with the female. We're gonna have we're gonna have Chris feed him a few eggs to try and reward him. <coughs> Boga, come on, come over here. Come on. So usually he doesn't uh, chew them a whole lot. He just kind of swallows them whole. So we use the hard boiled eggs for training also since he likes them. They're very easy for him to smell. Um, we can lure them around the yard with a target. And kind of use these for training, training purposes. Komodo dragons are very smart. They do learn their names, where to go, what we want them to do. had a question, how does he travel to another zoo? He has a, a specific crate that was built just for him. And then it's a large cargo van that's heated during the winter time. Um, so he is locked inside of a, a wooden crate in order to get up to San Antonio. You can see that he's fairly handleable, so we're, uh, we're able to kind of pick him up and put him into the crate. Same thing uh, with returning them here to the zoo. That's it, buddy. Good job. So like I said, if you did want to see Boga, it might be a limited time. Um, he will be back over by the Reptile and Amphibian Building on the outside. Um, we have not heard yet. We're not really sure how long he will be here. Um, might be the, in the next couple weeks or the next month or so that he might be going up to San Antonio. <clears throat> Chrissy is asking, can they swim? Uh, yes, Komodo dragons are very good swimmers. Um, they've gone from island to island swimming back and forth. Sometimes you can see them walking up and down the beach looking for food. Hey, just come down. <clears throat> I think he's almost had enough of us messing with him. <laughs> if there's any other questions coming in, we have one. Let's see. All right, that's going to be about it for today for us talking about Komodo dragons here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Join us next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for the next Facebook Live.